<laughs> Go on. <laughs> yeah, they will tell you what you think. <laughs> I don't know exactly what is done. They created everything. I don't even know. Okay, okay. all right, all right. No, but is that what you I believe? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put words in my mouth. So you're saying something. <laughs> you're saying no, no, something. No, I said, as I said to you, you asked me, do you believe in God? I said to you, yes. Yeah. Right? Why do I believe in God? Because all of this, me talking to you, I'm conscious, I'm living. Look, everything, it no, cannot no, be by accident. Understand. You said you believe in one God. I believe right? that there must be a God, yes. Yeah. But yes. the God that you believe in, yeah. do you believe that he's the creator of humans and animals? Yes. Creator of everything. 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 The whole earth and everything. Everything. The word everything means everything. everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much can I stress it? It's yeah. true. Everything means yeah, everything. everything yeah. I have to repeat myself because you believe. I keep telling you, you ask yeah, yeah. me the same He's question. having difficulty understanding everything. Yeah. You mean everything. <laughs> no, no, I understand everything, yeah. No, I don't understand. Like, what, what do you believe in? What do you believe in? Since you're making a statement, you're interjecting. Do you believe there is a God? Oh, sorry, no, I was just repeating what he said. <laughs> do you believe in a God? Do you believe in a God? To be honest with you, I don't believe. I know there is. Okay. The difference being that, as you are uh, I like discussing... It. Well, I, yeah, go on, keep it. I yeah. like it, I like it. <laughs> the way you are discussing, many people make many claims. Of course. Yeah? And sometimes the claims are taking the people the opposite ways. Now, my logic is telling me that surely, if there is a creator, yes. logic then tells me that there can't be another creator. So, if there is only one creator, mm -hmm. or a god, yes. as we say, if there is only one, mm. then logic will also tell me that he is not going to tell two human beings to go the opposite ways, Beautiful. where there is a potential Excellent. for violence Excellent. taking place. Excellent. So, then it's a matter of trying to establish mm -hmm. ourselves if there is a creator yes. my my thinking brother yes yeah go on go on I'm my, my name, every my, my name is you, are? you are? my name is Aaron nice meeting nice to you, meet brother. you yeah so i'm i'm thinking logic is telling me wait a minute if there is a creator mm. then automatically i've got to accept the premise that the creator is far 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 superior to me Yes. Has to be, yes, logically of course, speaking. Of course, yeah. Of course. Now, if that is the case, yeah, then naturally, I myself, on my own, despite having sincerely the ability to think properly, the logic, despite all that, I know for sure I cannot, of my own self, come to the conclusion as to what the creator is what the creator intends for me yeah i can't logic is telling me that it has to be a creator the creator if there is one to communicate with me if there is an intent on the part of the creator of course, to pass me that a message. Also, that also, yeah, that, that also. also. I because, cannot disagree with you. Yeah, because I'm thinking here, as a human being, my abilities are telling me, what am I here for? When I look, of yeah, life. Yes. What, when, when I'm looking at everything around me, I see amazing things. And it's impossible for me to come to the conclusion that this just happen as a result yeah. of but you're some, not talking to an yeah. atheist no no i know that you, and i, know, I believe I in everything you're saying yeah, exactly. so we are not disagreeing absolutely we are not disagreeing so, yeah so the, that is, to me the only thing i say is right i and when when you were saying earlier on and i totally agree with you that way i have got something which is giving me peace yeah and tranquility i want to share that beautiful yeah I want to share it. Which is good. Absolutely. For my benefit and yeah. for the benefit of the person of who is engaging with me. You do in Dawa. You, you just... Yeah. Yes. Yes. But at the end of the day, brother. Yeah. Yeah. I, and this is the example I'm always using. Yeah. That if I'm walking down the street and I see a five-year-old five kid enjoying his ice cream walking home. And I'm walking on the other side of the street. I look at the child and naturally smile because the child is enjoying the ice cream. But I notice also that his path that he's yeah. taking yeah. is going to go right across a manhole which is open. Of course. So he's in danger. He's yeah. in danger. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So, as naturally a human being, yes. I will see the child and the first thing I'm going to think 
Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, if the child doesn't move, I'm going to drop in because he's too busy in his ice cream. So you're going so to do the right thing. Exactly. Yes. Go and do the right thing. Stop the child from there. Now, it's do, you the think, of you. do you think I'm going to think first? Is this child a Christian? Is this child a Jew? Is this child a Muslim? Is this child? I'm not going to think like no, that. No, no, which is right. So as a, as why a human should, being, exactly. regardless of your religion, you're yeah. doing the right thing. Isn't that what you should be doing anyway with other human beings? I agree. That's yeah. why this. So, you know, I agree. So, I agree. Uh, as you said, you know, when people say, "Do you believe?" I usually say, "No." I use the words carefully. I know there is a creator. Mm. And what is the communication that the creator is trying to perhaps use for us to understand why we may be here on earth? Yeah, the purpose of yeah. life, which is, which, is, is which, is, which is the which is the questions that regardless of uh, yeah. which century you, yeah. you were born, regardless of same. which country yeah. and culture you were living, yes. many people have this uh, dilemma of life. Yes. What is the purpose yes. of life? Yeah. The great philosophers, yeah. Greek, yeah. Africans, yes, yes, Asians, everybody, everybody they ask the same question. So yeah. we have that human need to answer yes. to that question. Yes. Many people, there are many people, Let's no, I just uh, sure. had mouth, thank right. you. Exactly. Many people had that wanted to find the, the, the question to the dilemma of life, yes. right? And many people, as human beings, yeah. exploited that need so, so. for their own benefit. Yeah. Yeah. Constantine, for example, the, the great Roman emperor, right? Yes. He decided... Tea. You don't want tea? No, no, you can have some, I'll have some as well. Constantine, for example, yeah. said, decided, okay, by this symbol, the cross, I shall conquer them, yeah. right? So he married the, the Mithraist religion yes. with the it. Christian yes. religion, right? This happens in every religion, right? This happens in Islam. In Saudi Arabia, the Arabian Peninsula, before yeah. Saudi Arabia was born, yes. was full of, uh, it wasn't a vacuum of religion, it was, it was, it was uh, an amalgamation of Judaism, uh, Sabian religions. Uh, you had the uh, Christians, uh, Khadija uh -huh. was actually Christian. Right, okay. Right, the first uh, wife, okay? okay. And uh, her uh, uncle was also, um, a Christian. Yeah. Now, all these so-called monotheistic religions, they have uh, embraced and uh, mixed the former religions in the sense that they repackaged those polytheistic religion, they made it into a monotheistic religion. But guess what? For example, the Christians. Yeah. As I say, before the Christians uh, uh, followed Jesus Christ, they had the Greeks and the Romans, I'm talking about the West, they followed the uh, Demetrius religion and also Dionysus. Dionysus for the Greeks yeah. and Baca for the Romans. Okay. So, similar to the Egyptians, the Egyptians uh, had Isis, Osiris, Horus, yeah. the Holy Trinity. Uh, right? So, the Pharaoh died. The, 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 the queen was still there. She got pregnant, she gave birth to a child. Oh! God, the former king the Pharaoh, came back in my dreams and uh, he impregnated me, I gave birth to a child. Yeah. So, strange coincidence, even the Christians do that. Yeah. They came up with that story. Even in Asia, when it comes to Krishna, for example, uh. similar stories. Yeah. Dionysus or Baca for the Romans is the same. He was, uh, he came from a mortal mother and a god. Look, similar to Christianity, yeah. and these religions, polytheistic religions, existed before Christianity existed. Okay. So all these uh, polytheistic religions or former religions, they, 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 they've all been repackaged and mixed, and they came up with this uh, new religion, and uh, <laughs> right. uh, uh, as soon as the king or the pharaoh or, or, or whoever is uh, the head of, uh, yeah. of, of um, government, yeah. no matter which culture, as soon as the king or the queen or the head of states decided that, that this is our uh, new religion, anybody that opposes them, a small minority, similar to, to Islam. Yeah. After your prophet passed away, he already foreseen that the, the Islam was going to be divided in 70 plus sects, right? According to your books, right? It's the same with Christianity. When the Romans decided, listen, this uh, new religion called Christianity, followers of uh, the Christ, of this Jewish guy, uh, Jesus, uh, the, the king of the Nazarenes or whatever, yeah. they said, listen, it's growing. Let's use it to our own advantage because even some of our soldiers right. are converting to this religion. Right. Okay. So the, the elite, the people at the top, yeah. they, be, they still believe in Mithras or the ancient religion, and then the common uh, soldiers or the commoners, the people, yeah. the masses, worshipped uh, 
the new religion. They yeah. couldn't stop it. So Constantine, the emperor, decided, as I said to you before, he decided that he yeah. was going. He decided that he was going to use this. Uh, 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 new religion to his advantage and he right. says by this cross I shall conquer them and who did they use? Paul on the road to Damascus he used to persecute Christians he was a Jewish guy he used to be persecute Christians because he was a uh, new they believe in this Messiah which the majority of uh, the Jewish people did not believe in they said listen yeah, yeah. this is idolatry yeah how can God how can God be a man yeah how can he how can God need to eat how can he be born of a human being yeah and the Messiah the savior that the Jewish people expected, they expected a strong man, they will liberate them from the invaders, the Romans. All this so-called monotheistic religion, including Islam, they have uh, remnants of the uh, polytheistic religion. Right. Okay? Okay. Anything that used to happen during the uh, Jahaliya time, you call them Jahaliya times, uh -huh. some parts of it, some remnants are still in the monotheistic religion. I'll okay. give you an example. As I was saying to, what's her name, sorry. Zachariah. 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 As I was saying to Zachariah, um, when you go around the Kaaba, you go around the Kaaba seven times, right? Yeah. Why? Why? I ask many questions. Why? Many of them, they don't even know, right? They're nominal uh, Christians or Muslim yeah. or Buddhist. They don't even know because their parents were Muslim, because yeah. their parents were Christian or atheistic. Okay. Most likely they follow just like sheep, they just follow it. Yeah, they yeah. say, oh no, I'm ready to slap in Zakaria because you don't believe. Yeah. Yeah. Just crazy people, right? They don't even use logic. They've got the brain, but they, don't, they profess to be something, but they're not in their heart, yeah. right? They go around the cab, as I said, seven times. Yeah. Why seven times? I ask my question, myself that question. Is it a wrong thing to do, to ask questions? No. And if you're an imam or a priest, I want to ask you that question. Then, if you don't give yeah. me a satisfactory question and say, oh, yeah. it's, it's the mystery of the Holy Trinity. <laughs> that's not, that's not yeah. good enough for me. No, no, it isn't. So what, you, what did you find out? Okay, for example, around the Kaaba yeah. seven what times. Did you find These out? rituals existed before your prophet revealed, you know, received the revelation okay. over a period of 23 years. Okay. As we said earlier on, they had 360 plus uh, idols. Yeah. So he decided, okay, he went to Yatrib, he came back, he destroyed, the, you know, when he conquered Mecca, they say, okay, peace, yeah. we cannot fight with you anymore. We yeah. tried our best, battle after battle, yeah. that's it. And he says, okay, destroyed all the, 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 the idols inside the Kaaba, yeah. that's it, Allah is the only one, right? Now, so they go around the Kaaba seven times. Uh, uh, which way do they go to? Right? Do they go clockwise, anti-clockwise? Now, to me, it, it has to make sense. Why do they have to go clo anti-clockwise? <laughs> right. I'm not being uh, the devil's advocate, No, so no, I don't, I don't mind. Why but do they have to go? Why do they have to? One more thing. Uh, do, I'm talking no, no, about no, idolatry. No problem, no problem. Because yeah. I know you got the mic and you're recording, but yeah. why do they have to kiss? Uh, I, I say to this imam, why do you have to kiss the, the stone, which is in one of the corners of, of the Kaaba? Oh, it was uh, some people, I asked some of them, they're Algerian, for example. What do you say? So, without much knowledge, they decided to give me their own answer. Okay. Because their mother, their father, whatever, the yeah. people from the re that region of the world they come from, right. they said, oh, he, used to, he, used to, he came from heaven. Yeah. So, so, he came from heaven, he was white, and then he turned black because of mankind sin. I'm like, oh, that's that scratching my head. I'm like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Okay. So I started the researching it for myself. Yeah. And I came to these different books, googling it, asking people. And uh, even your uh, prophet, like, uh, one of the followers, I don't know if it's Abu Bakr or, or Omar, I'm not sure, one of them anyway. Yeah. You probably know, you're obviously know better than me. How do you know that? Because I, I read. How do you know I know better than you? you I assume, because you're here with the mic. <laughs> no, you're, you're doing a dawah. No, 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 no but you're doing me. a dawah, right? Yeah, right? We so all I assume we all you, you, yeah. you, you are not supposed yeah. to no problem. preach unless you know. Right? Uh -huh. I assume that you're a I man will, of I intelligence. To you said to me that you use... Yeah. No, but no, you no, said that you no. use... Yeah. A, yes. Yeah. You decided to use logic. True, and true, said, absolutely. Right? So I assume. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, not Just a like you Carry believe. On. You say you Carry don't on. believe because of faith. You believe because of logic. So they go around the cover. They, they, yeah, yeah. they, they okay. kiss the stone. Yeah. Even their prophet, <laughs> right? As you know, somebody said to him, why do you have to kiss the stone? A couple of times. The third time he says, listen touching or kissing the, the, the stone doesn't bring you any harm or any benefit. It doesn't answer to my question. Right. Okay. Why do you have to kiss the stone? But, uh, sorry, uh, brother it's Aaron, nonsense. Can, I, can I just ask? Mm. You see, this is going back to the original uh, issue we touched on. Mm. You see, if I were to say to you, okay, let us assume that these practices you touched on, yes. 
were prior to Islam. It's proven. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. proven. Yeah, it's proven. But what was prior to Islam? Yes. Was there any truth to it or not? To me, there was no truth to it. Okay. And I'll tell you why, if you want. Yeah, sure. All right. In the Middle East, just like in the country where I come from, which is uh, uh, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Abyssinia, ah, right? right okay. This is one of the countries where uh, your prophets say to, when they were a small uh, minority, the Muslims, when you received the first message, it was, there is only one God, that's it. La, 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 la. So they were being persecuted by the Quraysh tribes. So he said, listen, go to the land of the Havesha where there is an a king, a just king, and he believes in one God. Yeah. So before the 23 years, because the Quran has been revealed over 23 years. Yeah. So the original message yeah. for the first Muslim, to be a Muslim, according to what I gather from, yes, from, from my logic, know. is yeah. like, you have to believe in one God. Okay. Even in the Quran, it tells you, Mumni, the believers. Yeah. And then it says, as long as you believe in God, and it gives you a clear example, the Christian, the Jewish, and the Sabian. Yes. Not just the Jewish and the Christian, yeah. the Sabians. Yeah. So he sent them to the land of uh, Habesha, right? Yeah. He sent them there, and uh, this king, we know the stories, it's yeah, written yeah, in the Quran, yeah, yeah. all right? Yeah. So he says, uh, look, take them back. We have, you know, they, they stop worshiping the, 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 the God of our fathers. He says, what crime have they committed? And then they read Surah Al-Maryam. So yeah, there is only a small difference. The difference between my religion and your religion is like a, a, a line written in sand. So basically, it's a minor difference. So if it was okay for your prophet at that time, why is it not okay for many people? But let's go back to these rituals. The, the Habesha, okay, empire, was also uh, in, uh, in uh, Yemen. We have the same writing. We still use the same writing. The, the Arabian don't yes. no longer use the writing, right? Yeah. So we used to conquer each other, yeah. right? So between the land of Havesha and Yemen, it used to be one country. Yes. As a matter of fact, is uh, I think his name was Ibrahim, the, 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 one of the conquerors from the Havesha, they went and tried to destroy the Kaaba. And then you have the elephant, I believe, in your uh, in the Abraham. Quran. Abraham, yeah, he tried to destroy it and then he yeah. had the miracles. Now, some of the symbols that these people used to use, the yes. Havesha and, and the Arabia itself, they used yes. to have the half moon. Yeah, the yeah. half moon and the star. Okay. Those symbols are still used nowadays yeah. by the Muslims. Right. At the time of your Sorry prophet. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the question I asked was, even if it was prior to Islam, yes. was, was there, there any, any proof? Was there no truth? Yeah, truth. In, in was there any truth yeah. in them? Yeah. If there was, what is their origin? If they were not. Mm -hmm. Where did they come from? No, I understand. For example, yeah. some of the ritual, like what you say is just, it's a good question. Mm. Uh, was there any proof in them? Perhaps, perhaps if you want to believe that the stone came from heaven, but to me, it's still idolatry, mm. kissing the stone. Right, okay, let's just touch on that. The question is still, what was the origin? You see, if I look at a ritual, for example. Give me an example of uh, the, the, the ritual of kissing the Kaaba, going around the Kaaba seven I, times. I'll, I'll, I'm giving you that example. Yeah. Uh, you see, if I were to tell you that the ritual has to be preceded by the information mm -hmm. yeah so to me if i don't kiss the stone it won't make a difference to me okay if you ask me here but why are they doing this i would say well look as i said at the start i'm looking at the whole before i look at the parts because if the whole doesn't make sense then i dispense with the parts mm. Are you seeing the logic? I understand. Yeah. yeah. So I am saying, look, before we touch those, I just want to know that if the, the, the uh, suggestion is being made that these particular kind of rituals, okay, whatever they are, were prior to the Prophet given a revelation, yeah. Yeah, instituting them. Yeah. Okay. What I want to know is, okay, that is fine. I have no problem with that. Mm. But what is the origin of these particular? Before we make the claim that yeah, it is I've read about this, the excellent, origins. good. I've read That's about even the better. Right. So, if they believe the Abraham, 
yes. you know, like we, 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 we going back yeah. to Abraham, uh, we no, no, going back to um, yeah. no, uh, Ishmael. Yeah, yeah, just before so, we do that, Aaron, you know, what I, what I, was suffer, I've read yeah, about this. That's good. Then we, we have an understanding. What I'm asking mm. is beyond mm. that. What I'm saying is, look, for you to have established whether it was idolatry or not, we need to know what the origin was of that particular okay, practice. Give me the origin yeah? of uh, the practice of kissing the stone. No, no, no. One second. Again, you are going to the past. What I'm trying to tell you is, look, it, it doesn't make sense. I'm looking at the whole, yeah, before we look at the past. So what I'm thinking here is this. First thing, is there a creator? So I'm trying to establish this. Once I've established it, as I said earlier on, so you can take it. Yeah. Once I've established it, I would want to know, okay, if independently I'm thinking that there is a creator and I've come to the conclusion that there has to be a creator, logic, as I said earlier on, is telling me that the creator, by definition, for my limited understanding would necessarily be superior to me of course logical but then if that is the case i want to ask the next question yeah okay if there is then again logic is going to tell me i cannot formulate my own uh, understanding of what this creator is or ought to be of course you're just a creator right creation right yeah so now the question then third question is okay is there a possibility is there a possibility that this creator communicated with human beings? Because I'm asking about my purpose on earth, etc. I'm looking at all this. The lamb of life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Since creation, people have now, uh, been asking that same question. Right. What now is the, the purpose? I, now the, I was born, yeah. whatever. Now the, the question is, mm. did any kind of communication take, take place? Because this is a crucial question to ask. If we are able to answer in the affirmative, then we know that something is there. If we were to answer it in the negative, then it doesn't make a difference what people do. So, if you believe it's true, yeah. if you don't believe it, it's no, not true. No, yeah. So now the question is, the moment we talk about, and the claim was made by you about idolatry, yeah? yeah. I'm looking at it, I said, wait a minute, if the Creator instituted something, does it make it idolatrous? No. No. Logic. But how would... But, no. But if, if that's the case. Right. Exactly. So the crucial, the, the crucial question is, mm. okay, what is the origin of the practices you mentioned? Of going around the Kaaba. Yeah. Or, 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 what or, is the, or, or even better, you, when you do the Salat, yeah, the, yeah. The, one of the prayers, five prayers a day, in yeah. which direction do you, do you worship? In which the simple question? Sorry, it's just an interjection. Yeah, that's it's fine. Part of this. Yeah. In which direction do you have to? The year in Alaska. The the Kaaba. The Kaaba. Yeah. So you have to walk. Yeah. Regardless, if you are in Russia, towards Doesn't the Kaaba. Doesn't matter right? where. Yes. Is this a symbolic gesture, or you are actually facing the Kaaba? I uh, no. Two two uh, points. But again, you see, before I answer no, it's it. It's part of the yeah, same yeah. question. Sorry. No no. But yeah, but yeah. part part of the issue here is again we are concentrating on the. Yes. But I, I want us to address, the, because you see, right. it's a if pointless there is a creator, exercise. creator, is it yeah. possible that he communicated with us? What would the answer be to that? From your understanding, yeah. do you think communication took place? And if it did, in what form did it take? I don't know if it did take place. Right, excellent. So now, if we are going to discuss whether this was idolatrous or not, is irrelevant right now. No, until we it's can establish. Relevant. You know why? You know why? It's just, and sorry, Aaron. Yeah, you see, to me, it only becomes relevant if we have a point of agreement. Of course, I understand. But if we don't have a point of agreement... We have a point of agreement, me and you. Not we, at be, the we both believe there is a God. Ah. So we're looking at the big picture before we narrow it down to small... Uh, exactly. Now, what did I, I believe there is a God. Now, what I said, I agree with you that there is a Creator. Yeah. And then I said, okay, if there was a... Yeah. yeah I, what, I, I now, what that. form yeah. of communication would have taken place? Don't we need to answer that? Yes, of course. Firstly, yeah. now look so at this. Look at this. Different How? religions yeah. believe that God, that these people, so-called prophet, have been re have received a revelation from God. That was the line of communication. So God communicates with my man here, right? Yeah. Says, Listen, this is the message of humanity. I gave the same message throughout the millennia since the, since Adam. 
let's say, okay, if you believe that Adam and Eve were the first ones, <laughs> right? So yeah. there was a communication, and I give him a message. So you got the Saudi, let's say in London, the Saudi, the Pakistan, the Ritians. So who are you to, to give me that? Oh, no, no, God communicated with me. Now, either you're crazy, all right, delusional, or it's true. Yeah. So what proof do you have that God communicated to you? And he's telling you, listen, I'm only giving you the, 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 the same message that was given to Muhammad, that was given to Jesus, yeah. but people over the same, listen, the all-powerful God would have stopped, just like you Muslim believe that the Quran was never changed because thanks to God, it's, it's recited in one language, and one second, so that's the message. The Quran is the message itself. It's the message that was given to Prophet Muhammad through uh, the Archangel Gabriel, okay? It's written down so that over the centuries will not be changed. That's the message, right? Is that the message? Is this how God communicated to you Muslims? That's, it's not, the Quran. A, that's not my question though. No, but it's part of the, the answer to that question. No, no, my question was, how did the communication take place? Now you have just said, well, it's through prophets. Yes. Now, how do we verify that? How do you verify that? Yes. Well, you either believe in it or not. Now, belief means that we would have to yes. dispense with it's reason and logic. It's beyond rationality. It's beyond rationality. I, I, I beg That's what belief is. But you say you have faith. No, I never even you used the word sorry, faith. So, no, no, no. I, I, so you have a proof, sorry. I, no, I didn't even say that. What did you I, say? I said to you, when we talked about, you know, when you said, do you believe yeah. in God? Yeah. I said, I don't use the word belief. I said, yeah, I know. It makes yeah. sense, yeah. Okay. Now, what I'm saying here again, look, you see, if we are going to rely on what you just said, according to your logic, because yeah. your logic has taken you there, yeah. if you are saying, right, well, how do we verify that? Well, it's faith or it's belief, as you said. Of course, yeah. I would suggest, well, no. If that is the case, then no matter what you do yeah. in the uh, context of the word belief yeah. has to be accepted. Then even if it means, you know, standing on one leg for 15 years, as some people do do that, yeah, yeah as, a, as a sign of penance, yeah. yeah, you will have to accept it as true. Are you prepared to do that? No. And I agree with you. You see, so although we think that our logic is telling us X, Y and Z seems to make sense, upon closer inspection, we find, well, actually, it doesn't make sense at all. But since it doesn't make sense what is it we can do to address the issue yeah that is what i would look at yeah i would say to you okay wait a minute uh, uh, brother aaron what's happened here from what i can tell is that we have agreed to accept a certain standard of how and what we may believe in relation to the creator what I am saying is actually no. Let's go a bit further than that and let's ask ourselves if there is a creator and he has communicated, then logic and reason applied will necessarily allow us to formulate the conclusion that there is a way of establishing whether we can verify what this brother, as you pointed out, this brother, if he was a prophet, yeah, what it is that we can use to verify whether what he is saying is just delusional or he's telling the truth. Some people used to yeah. use miracles. Let's some of the prophets. Let's, I'm just yeah. saying in, it the, is, in the so called Holy to, books, yes. some people say, Oh look, I'm yeah. performing I'm Moses. Yeah. I got this stuff, psh, yeah. the Red Sea split in two. <laughs> I mean if if, if yeah, I, I was know, I if I was powerful yeah. enough to say, Listen to me, yeah, I'm gonna go up to that tree. Yeah. What would you think about me if I was able to do that? Yeah. I'm gonna levitate. What would yeah. you think about me? Right. Well, you see, if you, if you told me there is shaitan, I'm doing magic, yeah, yeah, voodoo, sure. I'm black from Africa. Oh, he's doing uh, yeah, yeah, voodoo yeah, yeah. or whatever right. you want to call it. <laughs> right. Would you, you will be shocked. Uh, honest, right? No, no. It's honest, logic. Look, but yeah, amazing. Yeah. Look, uh, amazingly, mm. today, yeah, by the grace of God, mm. okay, mm. we are intelligent enough to have established, and you actually answered your question without realizing it respectfully, brother. You see, you said, well, if he did that, it is either he's using magic or he's using wood or whatever. But these are, these are aspects which we are aware of now, okay? And on that basis, we can question the validity of whether you are doing something that, is, that can be attributed to the... Yeah, beyond, um, exactly, beyond what we call reason and logic, okay? But the issue is, again, coming back to what we said. For a human being to establish, okay, what his or her purpose is on life yeah. or on earth yeah. okay there are steps which every human being 
will have undertaken on a general level, generally speaking. Yes. Unfortunately, there are uh, many human beings who are what we would consider to be exceptions as a result of their mental faculties, maybe not being up here, so it's not a problem. But here, the crucial question is a verification process to be established. Because I agree with you, you see, you know, when I went to India, okay, I, I saw uh, uh, some uh, people worshipping something, okay? So, after they finished, I approached one of them and started a conversation. And I genuinely wanted to know, yeah? I said, now, what was it you were doing? Yeah, because all I can see is a, a statue, statue and yeah, you're going to get yeah? and you're a statue. So, so, <laughs> so, Doesn't make sense. so I'm saying, what are you doing? Mm. Now, the answer, the response he gave was quite interesting at that time. Mm. Yeah, because he's saying to me, he says, listen, you have got it wrong. Mm. I'm not worshipping this. Yes. Yeah. I believe, mm -hmm. he's, he's telling me, yeah. I believe that the spirit contained within this object yeah. is what I am talking to so that it can intercede for me with the Which Christ. is what the Christians now, do with the saints. But he, the point, the point no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you are right. Yeah. But the point, is, the point is that according to their understanding, mm -hmm. this is how they view it. Of course, now, they were raised to think that way. But now, you see, for us, for whoever, whichever group we belong to, yeah. If you want to break open yeah. this shackle, yeah. Mental you can, slavery, yeah. yeah, you can only do it by allowing yourself to be able to critically mm. yeah, analyze and investigate matters mm. to come to a conclusion which will take you through life. Yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. what we are not going to be able to afford to do it, from my perspective, yeah. is formulate a conclusion which will temporarily address an issue, yeah. because then you'll get another issue which you have to address thereafter. My my view, my humble opinion is that for every human being, yeah. the most, the two most important things that must be addressed. Mm. One is, is there a creator? We established that. And I, we both come, agree that there must be. Yeah, I agree that there must yeah, yeah. be a creator. Once we have, once we uh, as human beings have established that, mm. then the next most important question has to be, was there a communication that took place? And the third question is. How do you verify if a communication that you have come across what you're leading can be to verified? Is the message yeah. in the Quran, for example, right? There are miracles, stuff that people didn't know back then. How is it that nowadays modern science knows about the embryo? I understand. No, 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 are I'm you going to lead to that? I, I'm I'm sorry for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not going to lead to that. You see, because that would that would be respectfully what I would call spoon feeding. What yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, what I'm saying is yeah. no, no. What what I am saying is look. Once you get to that stage, mm. then you have to assess it because my logic is telling me, as mm. I said at the yeah. start, if the Creator communicated with human beings, yes. yes, by definition, the Creator is going to provide us with something which we as human beings cannot just overturn as easily. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That is how I can not argue logic. against it. Yeah. Logic would tell argue me. Against exactly. It. But then there's another issue which I need to understand mm. for myself. Yeah. Is that if, for example, I identify the Bible yeah. to be that conclusive piece of information yeah. which connects me to the Creator, yeah, or the Quran which connects me, or the uh, Gita yeah. of the Hindus, yeah. whichever yeah. book professes to be yeah. from God, mm. yeah, each one has potentially become a claimant. I now have to assess the veracity of the claims of course yeah? Yeah, yeah that is how i would look at things so you're following uh, logic it has to be but the question is this that if i am going to use and apply logic yes okay then whatever i'm going to be reading yes is going to have to transcend not only history but also what is going to come which i'm not aware of yeah, yeah. Because if it is going to be subjected to the time and space that I occupy, it yeah. will not make yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. It can't but, be from God. But necessarily, it means a pro it's an issue. The issue is this, that if I come across something which I cannot understand, would I dismiss it because I don't understand it? 
No, no logically, order. you will say, listen, I cannot comprehend certain things. You can hold. But let's say that 90% of what that book is saying is yeah. true. The other, the rest, I do not understand. So it's, I have to believe in it. It's not now. You see, this is where faith comes yeah. to. Now you see, Aaron, my view is slightly different. Gone. You know why? Because I would base it on the premise of how evidence is assessed. So there is, there is, and. Oftentimes I've had conversations here and a lot of people don't seem to understand when I'm when I say something they seem to think how can you hold two opposing positions at the same time but don't forget you we can't. all have different IQs of course I understand, you, I understand. You, without being arrogant yeah. Yeah, yeah your IQ might be better but there are certain things that we can even and whether we'll, regardless of how you could be yeah, Einstein yeah, yeah. and believe in yeah, God don't and you could be Newton and yes, not believe in God absolutely now yeah. this is where something in your heart tells yes. you this must be the truth I or not yeah because you can you we can go in the court of law right he's yeah. the judge he's yeah. the judge i argue my case and yeah. i'm going you argue your case you know who wins the case yeah. right uh, beyond corruption is who argues the best uh, yes yeah. right it's not necessary who, who is the truth evidence. Yeah. yeah yeah who argues yeah. the best who absolutely the best evidence yes it's not circumstantial evidence and now there you are i'm so glad you touched error. it yes yeah now as I was saying, you see, they, they find it strange that you can hold two, according to them, opposing positions at the yeah, same time. The I said, no, no, it isn't like that. So, for example, what you touched on, and rightfully so, if 90% of something is correct, yeah. then the 10%, do you just believe? What I say is actually, no, it Some isn't. Some people think so. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But my view is this, that actually 90% we can verify, 10% we cannot verify. But... Uh, what is known as a, a, a principle, a legal principle, yeah, is the idea that one can presume something to be true until contrary evidence has been established to prove it isn't. Of course. Yeah. So the 10%, I have no problem, I can consider to be presumptions, okay, but they are what are known as rebuttable presumptions. In other words, okay. Here is the position we are holding, but if you can find evidence to demolish this, then so be it. It's a, it's a bit like, yeah. sorry, it's a bit like the hadith, sorry. Yeah. Can I give you that example? Yeah, sure. No, 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 just the hadith, for no, example. No. Many people say, look, uh, they're following... Um, yeah, you know, different... Sorry, what was that? Sorry, what was that? Abu Bakr. Yeah. All right. You got different uh, hadiths and uh, many people say, listen, you know, all the hadiths are... Uh, some of them, they are like... 100% truth and 5% of them, 95% of them, they're not yeah, verifiable. Yeah. It's like, how do you choose which one is verifiable or not? And why haven't they been discarded yeah. over uh, 1400 years? Yeah. So yeah. many people, whether Sunni, Shia, or whatever they are, yeah. they reckon that five, at least 5% of the hadiths are nonsense, so they cannot be proved. Right. Why haven't they removed them? And how did they come to those books? Yeah. Sahih Bukhari, or yeah. how, how did they come about? Why not? Yeah. Why not get rid of them? Well, the, the way I would view it is simple, uh, respectfully. You see, if you have got a collection of writings, mm. yes, mm. then necessarily a process would have to be established yes. to determine whether there is credibility in a particular statement. Yes. Now, from the Islamic perspective, we are aware that scholars going back to the beginning, Daoud yeah. say to this going, and this going, and goes no, no, back no, to the, the prophet. <laughs> no, the, but the process of establishing Which ones the differences it? of uh, saying yeah. was actually already established. However, over and above that, as you have pointed out, if we come across something, yes, which clearly is going totally against logic, totally against Some reason. Some of those hadiths don't make sense. They clash with the Quran. Absolutely. So they should now, have been discarded a long time ago. Now, no, no, no. But the point here is that if we are able to establish that, then we are on the right, on the right ground. Huh? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no, no. Sorry, no, no. please. No, no, no. I, we are finished. We are finished. You are finished. Yeah, yeah, we are finished. Because we are we have come to the agreement by all means. Oh, Aaron, okay. it was a pleasure speaking to you, brother. Yeah? Speak. No, no, no. Speak to you. So somebody's here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you.